we're taking a look at the new Lincoln Aviator, which the company is describing as a three-row mid-size premium utility vehicle. So the Aviators will come with a pair of engine options. You can either have a three liter V6, which outputs 400 horses and 400 pound feet of torque, or you can get the hybrid electric version, which increases the output to 450 horsepower and a whopping 600 pound feet of torque. Now what's really interesting about the Aviator is its suspension. For one, all of the Aviators come equipped with Lincoln Drive modes, which are five separate settings, which will raise, lower, tighten, and loosen the suspension based on the prevailing weather conditions and your own personal driving style. If you get the upgraded hybrid version, you can get two additional drive modes, which control the output of the electric motors. Now, what's really cool is that the Aviator will actually kneel like a bus when the driver approaches. This allows the driver to get in more easily, as well as load and offload cargo without as much effort. What's more, if you're cruising along at highway speeds, the Aviator will actually lower itself just a little bit to help improve aerodynamics, which is a nice and fuel-saving touch. Raising and lowering the drive height isn't the only suspension trick that the Aviator offers. It's also got adaptive suspension with Road Preview, which is a front-facing camera that actively looks for potholes and adapts the suspension in real time to compensate for them. That's a very cool trick. What's more, the Aviator also includes Lincoln's Copilot 360 driver assist package, which helps manage the vehicle while you're in stop and go traffic, as well as when you're backing up, and it even helps you park a little bit easier. The Aviator also offers Lincoln's phone as a key option, which, like the BMW 8 Series, enables drivers with NFC-enabled phones to open their car doors, open the trunk, lock their car, start the car, and drive their car, all without actually needing a key or a fob. Now, one of the wackiest design implements of the Aviator is that they've done away with warning bells. You're not gonna have stuff blaring at you, beeping at you when, you, when you're driving along without your seatbelt on or if you left the gas tank open. Instead, Lincoln has worked with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra to come up with a series of symphonic tones to replace those annoying beeps and buzzes. The interior is well appointed as well. It's actually got about two dozen speakers, more than we were able to count in one go, as well as a touchscreen infotainment system. There's also an upgrade to the interior package called Flight, which includes leather seats, uh, hand-brushed aluminum instrument clusters, all of which is designed to evoke memories of the aeronautical industry of yesteryear. Happy flying, everybody. We don't have pricing or availability just yet on the Lincoln Aviator, but as soon as we do, we'll be sure to update you with more information.